Hi there! Welcome to the quick quiz sa ating lesson ng Celsius to Fahrenheit. I hope you were able to watch that lesson already. Medyo magiging trickier ito if you don't know what to do. And if you haven't seen the video yet, you can click right here dito sa taas, dun sa ating eye na button there, uh, para mapanood din yung lesson. Just uh, watch that first and then come back dito to uh, have your hand at uh, trying to solve itong questions na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Okay, so again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you don't want to miss anything, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo. As soon as the new video posts, we're going to talk about Fahrenheit to Celsius in the next video. Okay, now if you're ready to do it, uh, I'm going to give you three questions uh, about this and I'll give, give you um, five minutes for all three of them. I know kasi medyo tricky ito dahil may formula involved and merong fractions and decimals so I'm going to give you a little bit of extra time. So five minutes for your three questions and uh, if you're ready, your timer starts now.
Alright, let's see how you did. Okay? Let's start with the first number. Sabi niya, convert 28 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? So again, using the formula that we have, it's either cel uh, degrees Celsius times 1.8 plus 32, or you use the fraction form, which is the degrees Celsius times 9.8 times uh, 9 over 5 plus 32. Okay? So in this case, dahil hindi siya nag end sa 0 or 5, or hindi siya basically ni siya multiple of 5 ni, ni niya factor ang 5 I opt for the decimal just so I can get the final answer right away in just 2 steps so ang gagawin ko dito in, instead of using yung 9.5 I use the 1.8 so if you fill in ko lang 28 times 1.8 plus 32 and you start with this side kasi PEMDAS so multiplying muna bago yung uh, addition okay so you can do 28 times 1.8 or, I, I don't think I discussed this in my other video, what you could actually do would just put 28 right away and then just deal with 0.8. Bakit? Kasi 28 na yan, yan na yung times 1. So, inahanap mo na lang yung times 8, 0.8 and then i-add mo na lang siya dito. Okay? It's actually the same as multiplying it like that. I just don't like na nagkikerry kasi nahahassel ako doon. But you can also use it like this. So, 8 times 8 is 64. So, 6. And then, 8 times 2 is 16. Plus 6, that is 22. So, 22. And then, meron kang isang decimal point right here. So, isang beses yan. So, i-move mo rin siya isang beses. That, that would be 22.4. Okay? Tapos, ilalagay mo lang siya dito sa... Yan, dadagdag mo lang siya dyan. 22.4. So, you have 0. 0.4 and then 10. So, 0. That's 1. 50.4. So, degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 50.4 plus 32. Or 82.4. Okay? So, 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit ang sagot. I hope they got that right. Okay? So, again, ano na lang to eh. Practice and pabilis na lang mag-multiply. Okay? And then, of course, mag-recall ng formula natin. Alright? Number two na question. You have yung uh, question na ito. Convert 185 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so in this case, dahil nag siya with 5, I'm actually going to use the formula na my fraction. So, 9 over 5 para I can start multiplying by cancellation. Okay, so instead of doing this yung 1.8, lalo na malaki yung number na 185, ang gagamitin ko is 185 times 9 over 8. So, how do I go about doing this? Ta-cancel ko na to, kasi pareho siya ng divisible sa 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. Tapos ito, i-divide ko siya sa 5. So, pag dinivide ko yun sa 5, that would be 3 and then 7. Okay? So, again, it's just divided by 5. Um, so, hindi pwede 1, 18 na lang. So, that would be 15. So, 3 yon. Tapos may remainder ka na 3. So, 35, 7. So, yun yun lang yung reason ko ba't siya naging 37. Okay? Now that you have 37 na natitira here, all you need to do is to multiply 37 by 9. So, you can do 37 by 9 talaga, as in 37 times 9, and then carry, carry. Or what I like to do, dahil ang 9 ay malapit na sa 10, I just do this. So, 370, this is times 10. And then, babawasan ko lang siya ng times 1, which is just 37. Okay? Kasi that's how I do it mentally, para lang mas madaling to deal with uh, yung multiplying kasi itong itong part na to hindi ko ma, hindi ko maano yan eh, hindi ko ma mental math yung 37 times 9 pero ito ma mental math ko yan uh, 370 minus 37 that is 300 and and then you have 33 okay so 333 kokopyahin ko lang siya dito 333 plus 32 is equal to and then you have 365 degrees fahrenheit that is your answer. Okay? And again, even if you use 1.8, it's still going to give you the same answer. Kasi pag minultiply mo yung 185 sa 1.8, 333 pa rin naman ang lalabas. Okay? Uh, depende na sa'yo kung saan ka mas komportable. Okay? Sa akin lang, ano lang, uh, parang do everything that you could to save time. So whatever works best for you, just do it. Okay? Alright, so number 3, convert negative 60 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? So, dito, ano nang to eh, medyo a little bit of a level up dun sa usual natin sinasolve kasi negative number siya. 
But wala namang magbabago. Yung formula natin will still be the same. You just need to deal with integers. And if you haven't seen my video lessons on integers yet, you can click right here dito sa taas. So you can catch up. Baka maguluhan tayo pag may negative nung nakalagay. nakalagay. The same rules apply naman. Okay? So again, you have two options. You can go by the decimal or the the fraction. Sa akin lang, dahil ang ending niya ay 0, which means divisible siya sa 5, I opt to go for yung fraction format niya. So, dito yung gagamitin ko. Okay? So, you just need, need to fill it in. Negative 60 times 9 over 5 plus 32. Now, how do you deal with uh, integers? Dito, negative siya, di-divide mo siya sa positive. E di, ang mangyayari niya, yung sagot mo niyan would be positive pa rin. When you multiply it then with 9.5 or go about it diretso lang, it's still going to be a negative number. So, iabang nyo na yun, sigurado negative number yung lalabas dito pag multiply mo to, which is yung first step natin kasi nga PEMDAS. So, pag na-establish mo na yan, you can go and solve this. Okay? So, 5 divided by 5 is 1. Ito, five divi uh, 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay? So, yung 12 na yan, yan na ngayon yung i-multiply mo. Or yung negative 12 na yun, yan na yung multiply mo sa 9. Okay, so 120 minus 12, that is 108. Okay, so negative 108 and then plus 32 is equal to yung answer natin. Now, when we're subtract, ever, when we're adding integers na magkaiba ng sign, ang rule natin is, kung alin man ang mas malaki sa kanila, okay, which is in this case 108, bababas mo yung mas maliit, which is 32. So 108 minus 32, that is 76. And then, kukopihin mo yung sign ng dominating or na mas malaking number. Okay. So, one, yung 108, kukopihin ko yung kanyang sign. Nalagay ko dito, negative 76. So, the answer is ne negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. Again, ano to ha? Pakum the more you're comfortable with dealing with integers, the easier it will be for you to deal with this. Okay? So, make sure that you're familiar with it para mas maging madali sa inyo. Okay? And if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming lessons, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you want more exercises, if you want more access to the stuff I make, don't forget to go to our Facebook page then, www.facebook.com slash Team Laika, uh, that's how you can find out then how to get one of the reviews I made or join the online review program or attend one of the upcoming live review events. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and if you have any topics you want to request sa akin, uh, don't forget to comment down below and I'll try to uh, make a video of that as soon as possible. Alright, thanks guys and never stop learning. Aja aja kain I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.